Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, EA Sports decided to drop some content that they probably could have dropped about a month or two months ago, but nonetheless, they dropped it and it's decent value. So I'm gonna take a look at those Icon SBCs that we had yesterday for the three icons that we got via player SBCs. We haven't gotten too many Icon player SBCs recently and it is kind of nice to see these, but I feel like it's just kind of specifically curated for only a small portion or a part of the community that really wants to get these SBCs done for very, very cheap that can't afford really crazy expensive cards, which there's a lot of people out there that can. So that's why I think this content was pretty good yesterday for some people, but for others, it was like, mm, this is dead and this is way kind of late. It's behind the curve and stuff like that. So I want to take a look at that, talk about how the fodder market moved and actually how bronze rares are up a lot, which should tell you something about how people are excited about these icon species that we got yesterday. Of course, yesterday we had the 85 times five pack re-released once again. We'll be able to do that one time every single day, just like last week. And I think today on Tuesday could bring us another upgrade pack, maybe the 85 plus player pick. We had the 82 plus player pick on repeat once again. It is the exact same as we thought it was going to be yesterday. So no surprise there. And also the pack weight is kind of no surprise. It's hit or miss. You get some walkouts and then other times you only get 82s and 83s. So Player picks are out, uh, 85 times fives are out, and we got more tokens as well, which did actually, believe it or not, the tokens moved prices on the market. These objectives, especially for Air Divisi and the Saudi Pro League, moved prices on the market yesterday. So I want to take a look at some of that. Maybe you have some of those cards in your club that after you do the objectives and get those done, you might want to sell them off while they're hot and while they're expensive. So we're going to take a look at that. And of course, SBC fodder with things that moved yesterday. Not a ton of movement there, but enough to cover it and, and potentially more movement coming later today. So we're going to talk about all that and more in today's video. And of course, today's a huge Tuesday for the game of FIFA. Massive gameplay update today. We don't talk about gameplay that much, but it has to go mentioned and it has to be mentioned in today's video that there is a massive update today for Xbox and PlayStation. PC has already got this. As of right now, there is no update for me. Uh, today on Tuesday, we should be getting an update for console games in FIFA 22 with a pretty massive update and maybe talking about some reason of why EA Sports is bringing this massive of an update to the game this late in the cycle. So if you're excited for today on FIFA, hit the thumbs up and comment down below. If you did the Icon SBCs yesterday, because I know a lot of people probably didn't because they feel like it's behind the curve, but other people think that they're pretty good. Of course, subscribe if you're new as well. Let's take a look by, st let's start by taking a look at these icons. Fernando Torres, Desai, and Rivaldo were the three that were dropped yesterday. And I remember at Content Drop going in here and seeing that Desai was four squads. And right away I thought, that actually means he's two squads because always for the first two of an Icon Moments player SBC, you have the bronze and the silver. And then besides that is an 84 and an 86 rated squad for Desai. That is incredibly easy to get done, especially if you think about all the fodder packs that are out right now, the upgrade player picks that people can get. It is incredibly easy to get these SBCs done. And this is perfect. I think EA was specifically curating this content yesterday for people on lower coin budgets. I mean, a Fernando Torres, this guy on the market before yesterday was like 300,000 coins. This SBC is about 200K, 82, 83, 84, 85. That's really, really cheap. I know that some of these guys are behind the curve, uh, Torres, Desai, and Rivaldo are all a little bit behind the curve, but based off their price movements yesterday on the market on these specific cards, you can tell that people are actually excited. The people that wanted to do these guys' SBCs, they're kind of excited about them being out. Take a look at Desai, right? He's 190,000 coins at the moment. He was 250 yesterday before content dropped down to 176. Of course, he was down already from being like 300,000 coins before Desai and Rivaldo were leaked to be coming out a couple days ago. Uh, so Desai, I think, is being probably the most completed SBC right now at the moment of the icons that were dropped yesterday. You can tell he's got a 62% upvote. Fernando Torres has a 38% upvote and Rivaldo only 24. But here's the real kicker. People are doing these SBCs in July because if you go and take a look at bronze rares on the market. Now, I'm not entirely sure like which of, um, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that like English bronze rares would be some of them would, that would be up. But bronze rares, check your clubs, guys, because some of these bronze rares are up. Wow. English bronze rares are 1,100 coins apiece, 1,200 coins selling. Uh, and it's probably about the same for all the top top nine nations, so right around 1,000 coins 
or most of your bronze rares in this game, uh, wow, the, every single bronze rare in the game is how much? 800 coins? That's crazy, right? That just goes and tells you that people are doing these SBCs because they are, they're actually decent value for what the players were. Torres was 300,000 coins a couple days ago, and now his SBC is 200K. So his card price is down a lot, as you would expect. But that's just, again, it's kind of the people that needed to get these SBCs done for cheap that couldn't afford these cards off of the market or didn't want to, right? Maybe it's just you're a big uh, Fernando Torres fan, big Liverpool fan, and you want to get Fernando Torres completed for the endgame squad and you just don't want to buy him. You can craft him for really cheap with these couple squads. Same thing with Desai. I have actually used Desai for a lot of games this year. Uh, my 92 Desai in the club, I, I would assume that I have at least 100 uh, plus games with him. He's been on my team for so long. Uh, 216 games. I really, really like this card. He's basically a wall. He's a tank. So I packed him during the whole prime icon player pick glitch situation that happened like a few months ago. He was really, really good for me. So I've enjoyed using his card for a long time and he is really good. So I, I, I understand completely why people want to go out and do the SBC. Now the flip side of the coin is a lot of people are like, they saw content yesterday and they're like, man, EA Sports, these SBCs are like two or three months too late. And I completely understand where you're coming from from there as well. If you're somebody who's interested in the most elite cards that are dropping on this game, the, staying up to date with the most recent promo and saying, hey, Nate, take a look at the Kyle Walker that just got dropped. Why use this IE when you can use a Kyle Walker or a flashback Veron from January that's still better than this card? I completely agree with you. And I know and I see where you're coming from. That's why I think that yesterday's content was, again, kind of specifically for that lower budget audience, more of the casual player that wanted to get these SBCs done for cheaper than what they could have uh, before. So again, I definitely can see the side where you're like, man, Nate, this content was really dead yesterday. At least if you thought the icon SBCs were dead, we had the 85 times five and we do have 82 plus player picks to go out and to grind and to craft. And everybody on the game yesterday... This is for casuals and people that are, you know, very elite hardcores playing the game every single day. Everybody needs summer swap tokens, right? And this was actually a really big point yesterday. A lot of the market moved from this, which you might think was crazy. Right away when content dropped, when I saw that Eredivisie was added in here as an online friendly one league uh, objective where you could have to get the token, I knew right away that some of your Eredivisie cards were going to go up on the market because not as many people keep Eredivisie cards or just have them at their disposal. And so I knew right away that some of these cards were going to go up. One card that we looked at right away was Anthony uh, on the stream. I'm sure that like Holler went up. Basically any of these most elite tier cards. Anthony was like 55,000 coins yesterday. Uh, he went all the way up to 80k. He's back down a little bit right now. He's in the mid 70s, low 70s, it was 65. But this guy was 55,000 coins, rose all the way up to 80K and is now back down. It's just the fact that people didn't have a lot of these cards in their club to go and complete these online objectives. And since it's online, people have no problem going and buying a couple players to get it done. Now, of course you're like, Nate, well, they can't buy a whole team. No, they can't because you have to have, what is it, eight first owned players? I think it's eight first owned players. Yes, eight first owned Air Divisi League players. So you can have eight first owners with some silvers and maybe some golds in there, maybe an SBC player or two or a storyline objective that you might have in the club. And then you go and buy three players like an attacker, right? You're going to buy a guy like an Anthony or a holler or maybe a Graven Birch if you have a lot of coins or just one of those more expensive cards that's going to get the job done for you in a golden goal mode where you're just trying to get a goal scored right off the bat. So this was cool for EA Sports. Again, dropping eight more tokens to try to keep them ahead of the curve. Now the tokens are probably going to be pretty slow throughout the rest of this week, kind of as we have seen. But some Eredivisie cards did rise up. Some of your team of the season specifically, uh, I would assume that like Daily Blind Shapeshifter was up a little bit as well. I didn't actually look at his price, but I would assume that that probably happened being one of the most recent Eredivisie cards out there. Also, Saudi Pro League, a lot of people probably don't have a full 11 of Saudi Pro League cards in their club. So if you went and take a look at the market, some Saudi Pro League players, actually what I would do, the best way to do this is go to your club or go somewhere inside of your FIFA Ultimate Team club and say, hey, um, I want to look at Saudi League players and see how many that I have and see if any of them are tradable, right? You can even sort by tradable. I, I have a few of these guys in here. Funes Mori, uh, let's see. List on transfer market, it says my active squad is full, so I can't place them in the squad. 
let me Tawamba, right? Like some of these guys are selling for over a thousand coins, especially the ones that are more like this right back with 80 pace. List on transfer market, compare price, 2.2K. This this guy is selling for 4K? Nah, like I'll get him out. Seriously, I'm playing I'm playing against squad battles, right? Squad battles, I'm not gonna try and hold on to some of these guys. I'm gonna take the coins while they're oop, nope, I'm not quick selling. <laughs> oh, that was almost bad. A center back that's selling right now for 3,000 coins. Don't mind if I do. 3,400 for a Brazilian center back with 60 pace. I've got a couple different ones of these. Like this is the stuff that I'd be doing right now. Go through your club and take a look at some of these silvers, golds, and you know even some bronzes that actually sell for something because people are using them in these games. Like I'm gonna list this guy for maybe 1.7K. He's actually a semi-decent looking silver card. And oh my gosh, 91 pace. Compare price. How much are you? Is it, oh, it was 800 coins. All right, I'm keeping him because I might just <laughs> might as well use him, right? But that's kind of the thing you want to be looking for. Look through your club. Look for some cards that might be selling for a couple thousand coins, and and just take some extra cash, right? Take a look at that. Boom. Just made 5,000 coins basically between those two cards that I didn't have before. So especially if you're on a lower budget and you have some of those in the club, make sure you take a look at those because after the objectives that dropped yesterday, that sort of stuff has gone up. The bronze rares and those uh, silver and bronze Saudi League cards specifically had the biggest impact in price movement on the low tier market. Now, speaking of impact on the market as well, we did have the 85.5 yesterday, which kind of was expected. It's going to be repeating again today. And fodder, you know, didn't really move that much because again, like I said, some people were excited about the Icon SPCs from yesterday, but also some of them were not. And the really hype would, or the real hype where probably most of the community was enjoying the SBC section yesterday was the 85 times five. And of course you've seen 84s and 85s just ever so slightly tick up in price, right? 84s are about, they're approaching 4,000 coins right now, which is up about a thousand coins a card. 85s are about seven and a half K, which is up about a thousand a card as well. And then 83s are approaching 1.5, 1.6K, which is up just about five, 600 coins a piece. So Keep an eye on these cards because guess what? An 85 times five is coming back again today. Whether you're saving it or whether you're opening it, I'm I'm doing some of both right now with mine just because I want to have some fun. Uh, I've got some stacked already for footies, but regardless, people are going to go out and do this. They're going to log on say, okay, we'll get to do this again today on, on FIFA on Tuesday. Whatever else is there is there, but people love these gamble packs. They like to stack them. They, they, there's, there's a lot of FOMO with a pack like this. So that's why I think that the 83s to 85s are going to keep rising in value. If you invested in any of these on the weekend, you're looking at some good profits probably in the next two days. Like Wednesday, Thursday is going to be the time frame where we will look at these cards and be like, okay, we're going to look to be selling here decently soon. Or if you just want to hold into footies, I think that's completely fine as well on some of the lower tier cards because some of the prices that we saw on the weekend, like again, two days ago, Saturday, Sunday timeframe, these cards were like 2K. 2K on Sunday, I believe it was. Some of them reaching, yeah, 2.75K uh, for like Tadic and some of these other 84s. Like that was disgustingly cheap. So if you're invested at those price points and you're not in a hurry to get out, then you might as well just keep holding. But a lot of the rest of the fodder market didn't move that much. Other cards maybe slightly up, but not really. Um, you know, your your 90s are just kind of chilling. Again, at the 30K range, where they were yesterday. Your 87s are 15K. Some cards maybe up a tiny bit just because of the, you know, 92 plus player pick for icon moments being available. Now, one thing I will say is we have one... We have one more full day left with these upgrades. And if you're somebody who likes to do a lot of SBCs, if you're doing player picks this week, this is one thing I would recommend as well. If you're grinding the 82 plus player picks like I am, try to rinse some of your cards, your 82s and your 83s, rinse them into the team of the week upgrade pack, because I think that's going to be a very nice pack that will help us get SBCs done later on. Wow, I picked a bad league to try to craft a player pick here really quick. Um, can I do Prem? Prem, uh, no, 30 chemistry is very nice, but when you don't have a lot of players in the club, it's not very nice. Okay, boom, Bundesliga really it is. But um, I would say try to put some of your 82s and your 83s into that um, 81 plus team of the week upgrade because I really feel like that could be a huge, huge help heading throughout the rest of this week. Um, and especially after those go away, we would assume that we would get some more of those upgrade packs later on, but just having team of the weeks, Yes, let's freaking go, man. Dempsey, this is the guy that I wanted, chat. Yes, I just called the YouTube video chat. 
Oh, that's that's wonderful. The late night pack luck is in. I used Dempsey for like five games yesterday, and I kept saying this is the guy that I wanted to pack, and we freaking got him on the YouTube video. Let's freaking go. All right, we love that. I'm excited about that because USA squad needed him. Anyways, whew, that's exciting. Nobody else is excited but me. Anyways, uh, make sure you do a couple of those 81 plus team league upgrades if you have some of those 82, 83s in your club because that will become very, very helpful. As I'm assuming during footies, they're still going to have the um, TOT slash team of the week upgrade. Even though this might get re-released, I feel like while it's still here, you never know if it's going to get re-released or not. You might as well do a couple of those. So that's pretty nice. Now, again, like I mentioned for today's content on Tuesday, 85 times 5. I think we are going to get an 85 plus player pick today. EA seems to be in copy pasta mode where they're going to be putting out the same SBCs week in and week out. And last Tuesday, I believe we had the 85 plus player pick. I would imagine that we would have that again today. Now, I don't remember exactly, but I think last Tuesday we had a player SBC as well. It might have been Martinez Corta a week ago. So, what I would say is we don't have any leaks right now except for one card. And this one card that we have a leak for is a Moments SBC for Angel Correa. And if they do this like they did with Royce last week, they dropped Royce on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. And then Martinez Corta, I think, was on Tuesday. So we might have a last minute leak and then a card added into the game today on Tuesday. We'll just have to see how that goes. But this is the only leak that we have as of right now. Stats are predicted. Position is unknown. But I think a lot of people are thinking that this Correa might be a left wing, which wouldn't be a terrible card. Uh, if we take a look at Angel Correa, of course, people will remember he had a player of the month, but most famously he had his, well, gold card. This guy's gold card was incredible at the beginning of the game, but he had the fire and ice cards. The fire card with 2,400 thumbs up, huge, 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 hugely popular card back in December. Even though this promo was an L, people absolutely loved this card. And people actually loved his uh, player of the month SPC that came out in February as well. It just kind of seemed... It was really good value, but it was a little behind the curve. So, you know, this is a very meta player. He does have the average body type, but you would imagine that giving him a five-star skill upgrade with the traits that he has, technical dribbler, and just the base uh, stats that he has, what he really needs, he needs a big-time composure boost. You can see 79 composure. If they can give him, like, plus 11, like, at least get him above 90 for this next card they're going to give him, that would be a huge help for Nanjal Correa. That could be a nice card. Again, you could think about all the linking possibilities. Plenty of Atletico Madrid cards you could link him to. Joao Felix uh, would be one up there at the top, of course, that you might think of. The Suarez Tots card that's out there, it's pretty good. So plenty of options here to link up Angel Correa. Could be a nice card. Again, I don't know if that's today. It could be today, but I more feel like it would be a regular shapeshifter card that would drop today, kind of like Martinez Quarta, um, instead of a moments card like we had, like we had Royce like last week, right? Royce was on, uh, I believe it was Thursday of last week, right before the brand new promo started. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for content today. Nothing super duper crazy. It's probably gonna seem like another quiet day. Now I bought some. Oh, okay, I had the wrong filter, Mr. Tim Cahill is 430 and you know what i bought some cahills uh last night right after the video at uh 400 a little bit under 400k i bought four of them at like 398 so he is up a little bit i'm gonna look to take the cash on some of these because like i said there might be a few fluctuations on uh, a couple of these cards during the week this week but what i'm looking forward to on this game right now is still taking the cash on some of these cards because i think they're going to drop further on uh, later this week and especially as we start to get the footies info now we don't have the footies info right now like i've been saying we're just we're in that waiting mode for it but once we get it, it this game is really going to change and i think the pulse of the market and um how hyped people are is, is really going to change so actually one other thing i want to talk about related to the market a lot of prices are, are not moving right let's let's check our l shot right we've been checking l shot and neymar team this season recently a lot of these cards have really been staying this staying the same price L shot 290, literally unchanged. The team of the season, Neymar, was still 2.9, like flat yesterday when I looked. Let me check it one more time. He is, yeah, 2.9 low. So basically, Neymar and L shot are kind of the same prices. One interesting thing I saw yesterday was some panic selling on left wings, and it was all based around this guy. Now, I don't know if there was a concept that was made about a left wing Sadio Mane Bayern card or what it was, but Vinny, Ribery, and um, that money were all down yesterday, and I was very intrigued to know as of why. 
Now, Vinny, I think, has rebounded back up a little bit. Ribéry has rebounded back up a little bit, too. Ribéry was like 3.3 mil, and now I believe he's back. He was like almost back to 3.6. Yeah, he's 3.58. So I don't know what was going on there. It was a little bit weird, uh, if I'm being completely honest. I also saw that Conte is down bad tonight, 3.48. My goodness. That is really down bad for a Conte card. 346 is what Flippin says he just was. Uh, let me take a look at the sales history. He was just 340. Wow. Conte is down bad. So these really rare cards, they're incredible to trade with because they fluctuate like crazy. And if I was to able, if I was, who's bidding 37? Oh my gosh, man. People in July are still doing this on this market. Unless this is a coin transfer, which I don't believe that it is. I'm going to keep an eye on that because. <laughs> Three, four, four, six, getting bet on overnight as well. This is this is crazy. I might try to snag myself a Conte here for like, shoot, if I can get a three point four, that'd be fantastic because he doesn't have that many cards at three nine, and he was selling at three seven at least multiple hours yesterday, and he did sell in the three nines as well. So you know him and Kyle Walker and Dina Tale, like those are still still so rare cards that you can trade with. They're super rare, and that just creates big fluctuations, which means potential to make coins. So. Again, just as we head out th further through on the week, just be careful with that because we would expect more panic selling. Oh, Kyle Walker is up. Just kidding. We will not be trading with him because he is already up in price. So there's that one. But I'm going to keep an eye on the Conte because 3-4 for Conte is kind of mad. And um, yeah, if there's an opportunity to flip one of these, I'm going to go for it. Maybe try him out for a game or, or two as well. But that's a pretty low price for Mr. Conte himself. So yeah, just, just continue to watch the market. If you're chilling, if you sold cards and you're just waiting for prices to, to drop, we're just waiting on that footies info, right? It's it's really easy to be a casual at this stage of the game with how the content is going, but it's completely fine. There's no problem with that. Now, one thing I will say today is I'm actually very interested from a gameplay perspective. I played a few games of Rivals yesterday, had a pretty decent time, played a game, a couple of games of Friendlies as well, getting my Shapeshifter Cup games in and my one league games in. We have got this big set of pitch notes and a title update today on a Tuesday. So make sure you update your FIFAs. I know some people, you know, I used to have terrible internet, so it would take me at least an hour to download a FIFA update that may not be that big for most people. But I, I understand those those frustrations. I've been there, done that too. So make sure you get your FIFA started if that's you um, and, and get those downloads going for this update. Probably shouldn't be too massive, but there's a lot coming in with gameplay here. So here's my uh, just really quick thoughts on this from kind of just like an analytical perspective. This is a huge update for this late in the game. You might be like, Nate, why in the world are eSports doing this? It's July 12th. Why are they dropping a big gameplay update? Really what I think it is, is they're trying to put some fixes in and like they said here, refresh several elements of attacking and defending, but I think they have FIFA 23 in mind and they're thinking, okay, hey, we can input these changes, see how the hardcores and the people that are still playing our game right now in July take these changes and then we can apply these changes and their impact, maybe tweak them a little bit and then put them on top of the FIFA 23 gameplay or factor our feedback from this into that FIFA 23 gameplay system that we are creating right now and then maybe use that information to help tweak the final game that gets released here in like two, three months. So maybe that's how and why they're doing some of this. Um, but, you know, we should be reaping the benefits of that because a new type of shot is going to be more pronounced is the knuckleball shot, right? They're increasing the likelihood of this. I'll link these pitch notes down below in the description if you want to take a look at this. I, I'll link Inception's video as well. I know I already did this like last week when they announced this stuff, but Inception is just really, really great at, at explaining these things. And I think he, uh, you'll, you'll get a lot of really good info if you take a look at that video. He'll really go through the ins and outs of what is going on with these pitch notes today on this game so i know yesterday for a lot of people was just kind of l content i completely understand that but it was also a w for some people and those spcs are so cheap to craft that if you want torres or if you want uh desai or rivaldo on your team really easy to get done so honestly i can't complain too much because the value is pretty good so ggs to ea sports today's gonna be an interesting day though with the title update and with whatever else goes on with content in this game we're gonna keep an eye on it keep a watch for it and i'm gonna open more player picks today because you know just getting dempsey 
That, that makes me want to do more. That's the guy that I wanted, like, pretty much the most. Realistically, obviously, we would love a Conte, Di Natale, Cahill, stuff like that. We would love to pack those cards. But realistically, I wanted a Dempsey. <laughs> it's so funny that I got him on the YouTube video. That's crazy. All right. Anyways, lads, thanks for watching today. If you did enjoy, smash thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the account. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.